If you're looking for Ultimate Team Coins, then go check out ufifa.com and use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, Gunas here bringing you another FIFA 15 Legends predictions video and today it's going to be an English edition featuring two players that we know are guaranteed to be in FIFA 15. They are new legends on the game and that is Sir Bobby Moore and also Alan Shearer. So I'm excited about these two players and you know what, I'm going to have a go at predicting what I think their ratings will be, you know their weak foot. And also we now know with the physical attribute replacing heading on the card face that it's going to be interesting because that's a mixture of jumping, stamina and heading as well. So let's see if we can try and get that right. It'll be interesting to see when we finally see what the stats of these legends are to see how close I was or if I was way off. But anyway, let's have a go. This is what these videos are all about, predicting to see if we can get it right or not. And also have a go yourselves, guys. Let me know what you think in case you think I haven't quite got this one right. But anyway, let's start off with Bobby Moore. Now, of course, this guy is an absolute legend. And why? Because he is the only footballer ever to have been captain England winning the World Cup. They've only won it once. And of course, this guy was the captain. And also, if you consider Pelé to be one of the greatest or the greatest player of all time, it's debatable, but some people say he was the best ever lived. Well, he said that this guy was the best defender he ever played against. So that kind of tells you how good this guy was, that he was playing against the best and the best player thought that he was the best defender he played against. He's won a World Cup. You know, what can I say about him? Won 108 caps for his country as well. You know, he's a West Ham legend. You know, played loads of games for West Ham. I think how, what, 544 appearances as well. Played 700 appearances at club level as well. 26 goals, 108 caps and two goals as well. But he's just a culture defender all round amazing. And you know what? I think he's going to have a high rating. So I'm going to predict he's going to be 91 rated overall. I'm going to say, I think they like to give these top defenders great pace. So I'm going to go 85 pace, 72 dribbling because he was quite cultured. Only 55 on the shooting. You know, he wasn't a goal scorer. But I think he's going to have immense defending stats at 94. 78 passing maybe because he was a decent pass of the ball. And also I'm going to say that with this physical side of things, you know, He's going to have that jumping ability, fantastic, in the air as well. And he's going to probably have decent stamina. And what I'm going to say as well is that, you know, he's going to have decent strength as a centre-back. You need that from your centre-backs with a decent strength. And I'm going to say that he's only going to have two-star skill moves, but I'm going to give him a four-star weave fit as well. So let's move on to Alan Shearer. So Alan Shearer, you might know him better now for, you know, being a pundit on match of the day, but he was a fantastic player in his day as well. The all-time Premier League top goal scorer. No one has scored more Premier League goals than this guy. He's got 260. Absolutely amazing what he achieved as well. And he did win a fair few trophies as well. Didn't win as much as he could. Went to Newcastle for 15 million. But he did win the Premier League with Blackburn Rovers as well. And he also won quite a few scoring titles. I mean, he did finish third in the World Player of the Year award back in 1996. And that shows that, you know, he was seen as a player on the bigger stage. Although he didn't really get to that level again. But he did win a lot of the English awards as well. You know, the PFA Player of the Year Award. He also won the Writers Association Player of the Year Award as well. Just an absolute goal scoring machine. This guy is absolutely deadly. Not the most skillful guy you will ever see. However, he was just all about scoring and he was strong as well. So I think he's not going to be as highly rated as Bobby Moore because he didn't achieve on the world stage at all compared to him although he was top scorer in euro 96 which is pretty good in an international tournament however i'm going to say he's going to be rated 89 overall i think he's going to have 83 pace he wasn't known for his pace but i think he's going to be quick enough to be useful on the game 85 dribbling i'm going to give him 94 shooting because he was just a pure scoring machine would score he goes all day long on that right foot defending is not really important for him 77 passing because he could hold the ball up and bring others into play and he was strong that's what i liked about him as well he's one of those guys that would just back into defenders give them a hard time so i think he's going to have that strength which is going to be useful for that physical he was great in the air so he's going to have that jumping ability and also that heading ability that's why i'm going to give him 89 for the physical side of things the four star weak foot and three star skill moves will mean he'll be a useful striker on this game or at least i hope he should be but anyway guys that's it let me know what your thoughts are let me know who you'd want me to predict next to see any of the guaranteed legends or anyone who you think will be in FIFA 15 that you want to see me predict. Get involved and drop a comment below. But that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.